Hey, what's up guys? It's Uncle Kobe and welcome back to another Black Ops 2 news and information video. We're going to be taking a look at some leaked footage of the developer's build of Black Ops 2, going through each and every assault rifle as you will see it once you get your very own copy in a couple months. I'll give each weapon a grade and together we are going to determine which gun is the best, at least statistically speaking. So let's make this short, let's make it sweet, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first weapon we got is the M8A1. It is a 4 round burst fire weapon, however the burst can be fired in a quick succession. So first thing, just because the fact they mentioned it can be fired in a quick succession, I'm guessing it's going to be faster than normal burst fire weapons we've seen in the past. Not seeing it automatically has a rapid fire feel, uh, rather the time between the bursts are very short, which will make it very deadly. How deadly? Well let's look at the stats. And for the sake of this video and the Black Ops 2 weapon videos I'll be doing in the future, I'll be calling each little block a point. Why? Because I can, and let's move on. The mobility is ranked at 14 points, which will be the same across the board of all assault rifles with one exception. The damage is ranked at 9, which is rather weak compared to other weapons. Range is at 11 points, which again is not the best, and its accuracy is at 13 points, which is somewhat average. Overall, this gun makes me wish they brought back the M16 instead, which is why I give it a C. Next we have the SCAR H, which is fully automatic and has an increased damage and range from the M881. Its mobility is the same at 14, but has a damage of 13 points, which is slightly above average. Its range takes a jump to 15, which is second best in its class. However, its accuracy is second lowest at 12. Overall, this gun is nothing more nor less than average, which is why I give it a C+. Next on our list, we have the AA-94, which is fully automatic. However, the first two rounds of each burst are fired at a slightly faster rate. Not sure why they noted that, or even if it's worth noting, but it makes you think that they are encouraging you to burst fire this gun, even though it's fully auto. As for its stats, the mobility is standard at 14, damage is at 12, which is smack dab in the middle of the class, its range is average as well at 13, and its accuracy is at a class worse 10. This gun is comparable to a student that barely passes, but passed nonetheless, so I give it a C. Now let's take a look at the SIG 556, a 3 round burst rifle that produces high damage with each trifecta of bullets. Mobility is at 14, and damage is averaged out at 13. However, where this gun thrives is at long range, with its 15 points and 16 for accuracy. This gun is going to be a laser if they keep the recoil down, but I'm guessing the bursts are going to be slightly farther apart than the M8A1, and I'm assuming its hip fire will be dreadful unless they pull an Infinity Ward pre-patch Type 95. So I give this weapon a strong B. But moving on, we got the Type 25 with some of the most dreadful stats I have ever seen. Its damage and range flatten out at 9, a class worst, and its less than stellar accuracy at 11, which may I know is second worst. However, how this gun finds its effectiveness is with its high rate of fire and moderate recoil. This will most likely be an assault rifle you rush around with, and will probably have a decent hip fire. Either way, I hate it already, and I give it a D. End of story. Next on our list is the SA-58, or first semi-auto weapon, with its light recoil and moderate damage. More precisely, it has a 13 damage, which is absolutely moderate, and a mirrored range, which is fairly average as well. Its accuracy, however, is very good at 15, but I'd expect nothing less with a single shot weapon. Overall, this gun looks promising, and I give it a B+. The next weapon makes one hope that you will not be able to use a fast trigger finger in Black Ops 2 because the SMR is a semi-auto with Chuck Norris stats. It has a damage and range of 16 which are both best in its class and an accuracy of 15 which again is typical for a single shot weapon. This gun looks nasty but I do hope its hipfire spread is as big as Barry Bonds' post Roy's enlarged head because this weapon screams OP without it. That's another topic but I give this weapon an A- but at long range it gets an A++++++. Moving on we got the M27 which is fully auto with higher mobility and reduced recoil. This is the only assault rifle to break free of the 14 point mobility, however its damage and range are less than stellar at 11 and 10. Its accuracy is average at 13 and this weapon honestly bores me. The only real plus side is that you can run a tad bit faster, but if you are that concerned with speed, run an SMG. Because of that, I'll give it a B-. Finishing up we got the M Tar, which is easily the most versatile gun in its class. The damage and range are at 12, which slightly disappoints me. I wish the damage was at least at 13, which would make it close to the tar we saw in MW2, and its accuracy averaged at 13. The difference maker with this weapon will be its rate of fire. If that is decent, I can definitely see a lot of people using it. Depending on that, it could be bumped up to a B+, but as of right now, it is stuck on a B. So that wraps up my gradebook for the assault rifles, at least statistically speaking. As of right now, I don't see any one gun that jumps out and is the clear front runner, which is good. We hopefully aren't going to see any one weapon dominate the whole game, rather everyone using variety of weapons. Again guys, this is just all speculation coming from the developer's build. These stats can change as we get closer to the release date, but as of right now, this is what we got. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be doing one of these for every class of weapon. I got a lot of good videos coming out this week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top left if you're new. This was Uncle Kobe. Until next time, I love you all. Peace.